Alright, show on, show on. Carl Hung on Yla, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakak with Dash, Devil Nuns to the Elves and the Apostles, the Great Most Known Who Will. Show on to the whole Hulfalek, the 144,000 and the one third remnant men, women, and children of the whole Hulfalek. Show on to you. Alright. This is the brother Kabar Yash coming back at you with another lesson. Through the spirit of the power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Go win to the find the feet and lands in your house and your shot through the spirit of cock with dash and praise. Let's be able to find a straight to the point. All right, into the aqua, into the aqua, the feet sisters that are listening, learning to you. That's a Sean Wong. All right, <clears throat> so <laughs> the elder Apostle Cabarro went into this uh video that I'm about to show you. All right, about this E, not this E, all right, not this E, but this red headed E. All right, I'm trying to hold on. Let me do this right quick. And you're gonna get exactly what they get. And now, right here, dizzy, right here, this dumb down, retarded ass Eve, man. All right, and the dumb she 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 said, man. And this is a prime example of uh Proverbs nine thirteen. If I were to look up Proverbs 9, 13, her face would be plastered all over this scripture. Okay, but before we play this video, let's get that scripture. Let's read it. Before we read it, I mean, it's not. Before we play the video, let's let's read this scripture, man. All right? Because this, this woman here, she is a prime example of this scripture right here. All right? Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. The word clamorous means loud, arrogant, all right? She is simple and knoweth nothing. Stupid, all right? And what does the Bible say about our people, man? Our people are sadist children. Sadist means stupid, man. But let's go to the video. I want you to listen to this 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 folly that this, this red-headed E says, man, all right? <clears throat> so without further ado, and, um... I uh, apologize that y'all got to hear this. You might lose some brain cells after hearing this. All right. So, <laughs> but I want you to hear this crazy shit, man. Let's play it. And by the way, this is from uh, the channel, Please Act Right. All right. This is a great channel, man. I like to watch this channel. All right. And from this uh, this man named uh, Ro. All right. Ro. Okay. Hope I'm saying the name right. But nevertheless, man. Let, let's let's hear this 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 crazy shit, man. Brace yourselves. And now for my grand finale. But first, let me apologize for this headache that I'm about to subject you to. Exactly, and this is a headache. When I heard this shit, this was stupid. Are the queens of the universe? Men have forget God that we are the queen of the universe. We are the. What's the definition of the word queen? All right. She talking about we're the queens of the universe, okay? So, what is the definition of the word queen means? All right? And why are you calling yourself a queen? Look at her with this red ass hair, man. All right? Probably a wig anyway. But nevertheless, what is the definition of the word queen? Let's look this word up. Let's, before we play, finish playing this video, let's go to the etymology. And we're going to look up the word queen. Because a lot of you women love to call yourselves queen. I'm a queen. I'm a queen this, queen that. Okay. Let's look at this word queen. And we're going to look it up in the original spelling. Okay. Sloggy. There we go. All right. This is the original spelling of queen. Okay. All right. Q-U-E-A-N. It says Middle English queenie, a woman, a low-born woman. All right. Let's see, from Old English, what's that, queen, woman, also female, hussy, prostitute. So, what she's basically saying, she's a prostitute. That's what that word means. Prostitute, hussy. So, why are you women calling yourself a word that's it's in a negative form, man? Well, you know what? A lot of you women are basically that. You're basically that, and not the Q-U-E-E-N word, the Q-U-E-A-N, okay? Yeah, you that word, all right? Let's go back to the video, man. We are the queens of the universe. Men have forgot that we are the queen of the universe. We 
are the womb. Without us, we cannot create life. This universe would not survive. Women do not create life. Men do. Life starts with the man, okay? All right? starts with men's seed. Not you, woman. You need a man to procreate with. You do not create life. This is the problem with a lot of you Israelite women, man. I mean, basically, women in general. You think you can just create life. No. How do you think you got here? You got here through your father, all right, which is a man, okay? A man's seed. You was a seed floating around in your dad's nutsack. And when your dad shot you into your mother, your mother incubated you for nine months and she brought forth his seed nine months later, man. Okay? All right? This is what a lot of you women... See, this is the problem. That queen of heaven worship, man. That queen of heaven worship. All right? All right? Putting the woman over the man. All right, these women have compassed the man. Let's get that scripture. All right, it's lucky I'm all over the place, but I hope this will let's be at the front. Let's get that scripture because, like the Bible says, a woman shall compass a man. That's uh, Jeremiah 31 and 22, I believe. Yeah, God, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31 and verse 22. How long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord in Habashiyah shall have created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man, okay? And these women have compassed a man, okay? Let's go to the blue letter Bible. Let's go to the blue letter Bible. We're going to look at the word compass, okay? All right. Let's get that. Jeremiah 31. And go down. Verse 22. Here we go. Let's read in in uh, New Living Translation, okay? Jeremiah 31 and verse 22. How long will you, snuck you, wander my wayward daughter? Okay? Which is talking about the Israelites, man. For the glory how about she y'all shy will cause something new to happen. Israel will embrace her God. All right? A woman shall compass a man, basically. Okay? We're going to look at this word, compass. Okay, <clears throat> compass, all right. Strong's H, 5437, Savav, Savav. All right, for that word, it says to turn, to turn around, all right. <clears throat> and let's see, it says to march or walk around, all right. Uh, let's see. Mm, to uh to encompass, all right, to turn, to be brought around, all right. Yeah. To go about uh let's see. Yep. Yeah. Alright. To come about, assemble around, to march, go about. What we got else we got here? Alright. So basically the woman has compassed man, man. Alright, she's basically gotten up in this society, man, and society has lifted up these women, man, alright, through feminism, alright, women's liberation, all of that shit, man, okay, <clears throat> okay, so these women has basically compassed a man, alright, to make a circle to go about to, alright, alright, they done basically gotten up in this society, man, okay, alright, Get back to the video. We cannot create life. This universe would not survive without women. And men seem to forget that. And women give that power to men to forget that. Do women create life or do women carry life? We do both. I mean, doesn't it take... No, you carry life. You don't create life. Like I said, you don't create life. You carry life. Man is that spark of life, man, through his seed, sperm, all right, all right, which goes into the Hebrew word sperma, all right, so hey, a man's sperm is that spark of life, man, okay, man is the creator of life, not you, okay, you carry that, man, you carry that life, you incubate bake that life, man, so what in the hell this woman is talking about?
But wait, it gets worse. Brace yourselves. It does. However, if you have an island with 12 men and one woman, you would have a thriving society. However, if you have... Say what? Hold up. Let's play that back again. No, you will not. <laughs> Are you fucking serious right now? This woman literally said, if you have, if you was on an island, and if you had an island with one woman and 12 men, you would have a thriving society. How? How are you going to have a thriving society with 12 men and one woman? Let's, let's finish. Let's, let's, let's let her finish. That is the dumbest shit I ever heard in my entire fucking life. What the fuck? Are you serious? Where in the hell did you go to school at? Man, I wasn't the best student in the world. I wasn't the smartest student in the world. I wasn't that good at math, but I have the sense to understand her math is not fucking math. Okay? Well, she just literally said it doesn't make no damn sense at all. She said if you have a society, an island with 12 men and one woman, that would be a thriving society. But 12 women and one man, that's not a thriving society? Are you fucking serious? Oh, my God, man. Whew. Man, the Lord's got to destroy two-thirds of you. It's <laughs> like women, boy. Can't wait, man, because this shit is ridiculous. All right, let's break it down for you. Let's break this down for you. All right, and then, yeah, let's let's let let's let this uh let's let Roe break it down for you. Years, you would not have anything. So let's do her math real quick. Mm -hmm. If you have twelve men mm -hmm. and one woman, you would have a thriving society. No. So let's see. If there's only one woman, mm -hmm. she's the only one that can get pregnant. Mm -hmm. So that means that one woman would more than likely have one child. Uh huh. That means that exactly. And she can only have one child. And plus, there's going to be a lot of missing in the seas, too. Which means they're going to lead to a whole lot of diseases, like Elder Pascobar said. A one woman can only have one child out of nine months. So what she's saying basically makes no effing sense. Proverbs 9 13. Let's read that scripture again, man. Let's let's read it again. I gotta read it again. Got to read it one more time. Let's read. And we're gonna keep this scripture because we're gonna read it. Proverbs 9 13. A foolish woman is clamorous, and this woman is foolish. Stupid. She is simple and knoweth nothing. Nothing at all, man. Did I clear? Bible, yeah, I did. But nevertheless, man, this is ridiculous, bro. Hold on, let me uh, <laughs> let me put this on. Do not disturb. All right, that there'll be 12 men, one woman, and one child, which equals 14 people. Exactly, exactly. That's the point. One woman, 12 men. Equals 14 people because that's one baby. You can only have one child. Alright. Depends on. And really it all depends on the woman. Because some women might get birth to twins or triplets or quintuplets. It all depends. But nevertheless. She can only get pregnant nine months. Alright. She can only get pregnant. Alright. And can only have one child. Or whatever depends on and really you missing the seeds that yeah that baby gonna come out all messed up and shit yeah that's baby gonna come out all messed up let's continue man he said if you have 12 women and one man mm -hmm. you would have nothing but the one Wrong. can get all 12 women pregnant which means exactly that's right he can get all 12 of those women pregnant man and it depends on the woman. Alright. He can those children can multiply, man. 
Depends on the woman. It's like I say, the woman can might give birth to twin. One woman might have one child. The other one might have twins. The other one might have uh triplets, quintuplets, uh quadruple quintuplets. All right, five children at once. All right, the other woman can have uh quadruplets. That would be a thriving society right there. And really, that's really the way it's supposed to be. All right? That's why the Bible says a man is allowed to have many wives, man. This is why a man can have multiple women. Okay? Let's prove that. Before we continue on, man. All right? This is why the Bible says that a man can have multiple wives, man. All right? Not only encouraging in this society, but we're going to get that in the kingdom of heaven, though. All right? Let's read this. This is Judge. Let's read an example of this. Watch this. This is Judges chapter 8 and verse 30. And Gideon had three score and ten sons of his of his body begotten. For he had many wives. Wait a minute. Three score and ten. That's 70 children, man. He had 70 sons. And he had them with multiple wives. This is why. Men can have multiple women. That's the way it's supposed to be. But Esau tells you, oh, you're supposed to be married to just one woman, man. You can have multiple wives, man. And watch this. Let's read verse 31. And his concubine, which is just a little lesser wife, all right? All right, she's a, a heathen wife, which basically she don't get the same benefits as the Israelite wife does. But, you know, she's still... You know, white, but not on the level of an Israelite wife, okay? And his concubine that was in Sh Sh uh, Shechem, whatever that word is, <laughs> Slocky, all right? She also bare him a son. So that's 71 sons, 71 boys, man, from his, multi from his many wives and that one concubine. Gideon has 71 sons. So what the hell is this woman talking about, man? Whose name he called Abimelech, all right? Hope I said that name right, if I didn't snock you, all right? But the point is, man, the point is, Gideon has 71, he has 70 sons with his Israelite wives, and that one concubine, which was a heathen, he had one son by her, Okay? 71 sons. So what in the world is this woman talking about? Talking about one man. I mean, yeah. She said one man in 12 minutes. That wouldn't be a thriving society. This woman is dumb as fuck, bro. <laughs> wow. You cannot make this shit up, man. And this is why Isaiah 4 and 1 reads the way it does. Let's read this. and We're going to go back to the video, man. Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. Seven is the number of completion, but it's gonna be it could be more than seven, man. And that's gonna be a man of the Lord in that day, which we're very close to this happening. Okay. The man of the Lord, we're gonna have multiple wives again in the kingdom of heaven and concubines. That's gonna be a thriving society, not with 12 men and one woman. That don't, that don't make no sense at all, man. This woman is... <laughs> oh, man. Whew. And like I said, man, it's so lucky about that, man. I know you lost a lot of brain cells <laughs> from watching that video, man. But goodness gracious, boy. Hearing her talk, man. Eve just need to shut up, man. She don't know what the fuck she's talking about. Let's finish reading this, girl. Let's get back to this uh, video, man. Because... I want y'all to see. She going to contradict herself. Right? She going to tell on herself. Like they say, you let a woman talk long enough, she tells on herself. All right? Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women should take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. And how you get called by a man's name, okay? And that's sex. And what is sex according to the Bible? Mar Sinagi, what is marriage according to the Bible? Sex, man. 
All right. Sex is marriage according to the Bible. So what in the world is this woman talking about? All right. That's why Isaiah 4 and 1 reads the way it does. And we read Judges. The, uh, I think I still got it in here. Uh, I cleared it. Let's see. Go back to it. I think I, I think it was Judges 8. It was Judges 8 chapter. And the... Right here. This is why we read this scripture. Let's read it again, man. Judges chapter 8 and verse 30. And Gideon had three score and ten sons of his body begotten, for he had many wives. That is a thriving society right there, man. This man has 70 sons. Okay? Verse 31. And his concubine that that was in Shem, Shechem. I hope I'm saying that word right. She also bare him a son. His concubine. His long lesser wife. Bare him a son. Whose name he called Abimelech. Melech. Alright. Alright. Abimelech. I hope I'm saying that name right. If I'm not snarky. Alright. But hey. That's 71 sons. 71 children. 71 sons man. And those sons that he have, they're going to continue his seed line. Shows you that the seed line is through the man. Because men continue the seed line, not woman. Okay? Woman does not create life. She can't continue life. Men does, man. But that whole queen of heaven, queen of heaven worship, man. That queen of heaven worship. This woman being over the man had got these women to believe the crap that they believe in. It's foolishness, man. Okay? All right, let's go back to the video, man. <clears throat> you would have nothing. But the one man can get all 12 women pregnant. Mm -hmm. Which means that there will be 12 children, 12 women, and one man. Well, it all, like I said, it all depends on the woman. All right. Like I say, woman, she can probably give birth to twins or triplets or quadruplets or quintuplets. Five children, all at once. It all depends on the woman's womb. All right. It all depends. And that will be a thriving society right there, man. But this woman talking about one woman and 12 men. That's a thriving society, but 12 women and one man, that's not a thriving society. Fuck out of here. Go sit down and shut up, woman. Um, somebody needs to go back to grade school because her math ain't math. But don't men create more life since they can get more women pregnant? Yes. No, because if you have one man and 12 women, you have a thriving society. Okay. Did you hear that? She contradict herself. She just told on herself. Did y'all hear that? She just told on herself. She just contradicted her own self. Like you say, if you let a woman talk long enough, they will tell on themselves. She just contradict her own self. Let's play it back in. Um, somebody needs to go back to grade school because her math ain't math. But don't men create more life since they can get more women pregnant? Yes, they do. Men create more life because man is the creator of life through his seed, sperm. So what the hell is this woman talking about? Then she's going to say no. But watch her contradict her own self. No, because if you have one man and 12 women, you have a thriving society. Okay, now she's contradicting what she said before. Mm -hmm. Which now she's actually right because one man can get 12 <laughs> women pregnant and produce 12 children. Make up your mind. Women create the life. However, if you have one, one woman Look and at twelve it. men, you get a lot. With twelve men and one woman, you get more. Look at it. <laughs> oh shit! You can't make this shit up.
I'm done, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop playing this video, man. Let me stop. <laughs> Man, I'm losing brain cells back this and look and look how she look, man. She see she just told on herself, so she had to she had to hurry up and walk back what she said. Man, Eve, you through, man. And let's get the screen. Let's get let's get some more screens and <laughs> we gonna close this out. Oh my goodness, bro. Wow, let's read this scripture one more time, man. And we gonna go to these words. Foolish and clamorous and simple. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Wow. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, man. You cannot make this shit up. You saw how she contradicted herself? See, she just told on herself. She told on herself, and then she had to hurry up and walk back what she said before. You women are stupid, man. This is why nobody take y'all ass serious no more, man. Especially the so-called BW, man. All right? <laughs> All right? Proverbs 9, 13 again. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. All right? Proverbs 9, 13 all day with these dude, this woman here, man. My goodness gracious, bro. Wow. My goodness gracious, I feel like I lost a, well, excuse me, I feel like I lost a couple of brain cells listening to that foolishness. Then she had to hurry up and walk back what she said. <laughs> oh, man. Let's read this in the, um, let's read this in the NLT, all right? And then we gonna cook up these words, foolish, clamorous, and simple, all right? Proverbs 9, 13 in the uh, NLT, man. The New Living Translation. The woman named named Folly is bra is brash. She is ignorant and doesn't know it. Yeah, that's a lot of you women, man. You a lot of you women are ignorant and don't even know it. Y'all ignorant. Let's look at the word ignorant. Let's go. This is fine. Ignorant. Okay. Poor thing, man. <laughs> Poor thing. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Ignorant. Ignorant. Lacking knowledge or awareness in general. Uneducated or unsophisticated. Yeah, that's a lot of you women, man. And you women walking around here talking about you're more educated than men. You're smarter than men. But that whole shit that you have to listen to, man, proves that you women are not smarter than men. That made no sense what she said, bro. All right. Let's read this next one. It says, lacking knowledge, information, or, or awareness about a particular thing. This woman definitely lacks knowledge, information, and awareness about a particular thing. And that particular thing, she's name, she's talking about one Man, she say one man and 12 men, women, that's not a thriving society, but one woman and 12 men, that's a thriving society. No, nah, man, that ain't no thriving society right there. That is a full of infested diseases, man. Like the elder Apostle Gabar said, unbelievable, man. Ridiculous. In Espanol, ridiculoso. Let's read it says, without knowledge, unaware, unconscious, insensible unfamiliar with unacquainted with all right inexperienced all right you get it uh naive about this woman is definitely naive all right <laughs> uninformed about yeah clueless <laughs> damn so clueless good lord let's read these other ones let's do that all right it says uneducated, unknowledgeable, untaught, unschooled. I don't know where the hell she went to school at. Where she get her? I don't know if she got a high school diploma or not, man. Where she get her high school diploma from? A Cracker Jack box? Jeez. Un uh, let's see. Unlearned, unread, uninformed, unenlightened, unscholarly. But these, but these would be the same women. That walk around 
and how about how smarter they are than men? They're smarter than men. We're smarter than men. We got these college degrees, these degrees. We're smarter than you. We're more educated than you. What? But you, but you made an uneducated. Lord have mercy. <laughs> okay, whatever. Unintelligent. Mm -hmm. Stupid. Simple. <laughs> yeah. Pig ignorant. <laughs> Mindless. Airhead. Yeah. Damn, she's damn sure an airhead. Dumb. Mm-hmm. My goodness. All right. That's enough of that, man. All right. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back to here. Let's look at the word. All right. Foolish. All right. Comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H, 3687. Kessie Luth. Kessie Luth. All right. Foolishness. Stupidity. Mm-hmm. All right. Silliness. Yeah. That damn woman is definitely silly. Foolish. Oh. I got to get Jeremiah 4 and 22. I got to get it, man. Jeremiah 4 and 22. Because that's all people in a nutshell, man. It's like men and women. Sad. Jeremiah 4 and verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. Sottish means stupid, man. And all people, years and like so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, mainly the two-thirds are stupid, man. All right? And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. And I tell you, all right, silly. All right. Look, look at this word clamorous. Comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H, 1993. Hamath. Hamath. I'm off for that word, all right? To murmur, to murmur, growl, roar, cry aloud. Yeah. Talking about women are the queens and this and that, <clears throat> all right? Making noise, all right? That's all you women do when you talk. You don't do nothing but make noise. Talking loud and ain't saying nothing, all right? From the words of public enemy. Talking loud and ain't saying nothing, man. All right? Clamorous, be loud, all right? I ain't gonna see anything else. To be in a stir, in a commotion. Yeah. That's you women, man. To be boisterous. <laughs> All right. Turbulent. All right. See? Yeah. That's y'all, man. All right. Yeah, let's see. Anything else in here? That's pretty much it. All right. <clears throat> let's see. Simple. Let's look at this word simple. I'm from the Hebrew. Strong H, 6615. Pethayuth. Pethayuth. All right, for that word, sim it says simplicity, uh, naivet, silliness. Yeah, a lot of you as like women are just silly, man, especially the Judite woman. All right, simplicity, naivet, simple, foolish. All right. All right, and let's see anything else. Uh, mm. oh, okay, to be deceived, be gullible. Ooh, a lot of you women are gullible because y'all done bought into this feminism bullshit, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. To persuade, to seduce. A lot of you women, you as a white woman, have been seduced by the so-called white man Esau Adam. He told you that you're the... You're the queen of the universe and this and that. And y'all believed it. Y'all bought into the bullshit. All right? The bullshit of feminism, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be simple. Be naive. Yeah. That's you women in a nutshell, man. You really like women to be exact. All right? Let's close that. All right? <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, let's get this scripture. This is Job 39 and verse 17. Because Yahweh have deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding. Yeah, the Lord has not given you women wisdom, man. But y'all want to talk about y'all got wisdom. You're smarter than men. 
No, you're not, man. Every time you open your mouth, something stupid comes out, man. Like Sherman Hemsley said in the uh, TV show in Living Color, man. All right? You women have the mouth of a mini market. Open 24 hours and nothing good comes out of it, man. All right? And before some woman get on here and say, you you bashing women, you decent that. No, it's not a video to bash women. It's just, hey, it's just to call out your stupidity, man. All right? You is like women need to repent. Now, I ain't talking about the few sisters of the whole full neck. All right? It's not a video to bash women. It's just a, hey, to show you women that, hey, <laughs> you're not as smart as you think you are. Just because you got these college degrees and these businesses and these jobs and all that shit, just because you can pass a man don't mean shit. Esau Elam has lied to y'all, man. All right? Talking about she, the, they're the queens of the universe and this and that. And she talking about men and seen and forgotten about that. No, man. Y'all ain't... Never mind. Let me leave it alone, man. <laughs> Let me leave it alone. <laughs> All right, let's get this scripture. This is why the Bible says for you women to be quiet, man, okay? First Timothy 2 and verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Verse 12. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. You women are not supposed to be in a position over a man. But hey, that's all about to change though, man. Alright? You women have compassion, man. But hey, like they say, what goes up must come down. <laughs> okay? Alright? So hey. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Uh... Yeah, let me read this scripture again and I'm going to wrap it up, man. I didn't intend for this lesson to be long. All right. And once again, it's to knock you about having to sub, uh, subject you to that 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 foolishness, man. It's to knock you about that. My goodness, man. Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach, man. Okay. That's why Isaiah 4 and 1 reads the way it does. Because with seven women, or 12 women, or 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, whatever. Alright? And with one man, he can impregnate all those women, and society will continue on. Whereas one man, it's not like, whereas 12 women, it's not like, let me read that, I'm getting like her ass, god damn, <laughs> told you. You're losing brain cells listening to these women, man. Whereas one woman and 12 men or 15 or 20 men, that ain't no continuing society, man. Okay? That ain't no thriving society right there, man. All right? All right? That's a, a disease, the society. All kinds of STDs and shit running rampant. All right? And that's pretty much all I had, man. I'm going to end it here, man. So, Lord willing, I pray this quick lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications go to you. How about you? Y'all shy about Shem, Rakak with Dash. Till next time, Sean Wom, Kwam Yon Sharala, and Wild Baba Ball. And Sean Wom to the 144,000 and one third remnant men, women, and children of the whole full net. Sean Wom, till next time, Kwam Yon Sharala, and Wild Baba Ball. Sean Wom.